Hey, how's it going guys? We're back with another Star Wars reaction video. If you're new channel, welcome. This one is called All Orders. Uh, the clones had to obey uh, Star Wars Explained Legends. And it's also by the Lore Master. So shout out and credit goes to the Lore Master as usual for, for pro providing great content. Now, um, this much I do know. The clones, uh, when they were... Uh, I know with the inhibitor chip and I know there's like different versions of it one had like the inhibitor chip and I think the legends didn't even have an inhibitor chip they're just brainwashed to follow orders and the most infamous order that we know is order 66 and I did see a video uh, that talked about order 37 which is more brutal than order 66 well in my opinion and I do know there is a total that um, I think it's like 150 orders that the clones have to obey so there's 150 of them. So maybe this episode, I mean not this episode, this video will explain the 150 orders total of like what the clones have to obey. So without anything else, let's jump into the video. The clone army was bred not only to become the galaxy's That's a cool greatest shot. fighting the force, glowing. but also to be absolutely loyal to the Republic that they were to serve. This loyalty was forced into the clones by the Kaminoans as they manipulated their genetics so that they were more dependent on a command structure, as well as essentially having them brainwashed. On top of that, there are 150 contingency orders embedded into the clones that okay, they so had to obey no matter what without hesitation. These 150 orders were, in theory, supposed to ensure that no one could abuse the clone army for their own agenda as a means to gain more power within the Republic. They were also <coughs> created Palpatine. as a means to deal with different emergency situations, and apparently, only certain individuals or councils of individuals could issue these orders legitimately. We all know of Order 66, which resulted in the clones turning on their Jedi generals. So what are the other 149 orders? Unfortunately, we only know of five other orders, with one more supposedly being implemented into the clones after the creation of the Galactic Empire. The first one we know of is Order 4, which is to be issued if the Supreme Chancellor is unable or unfit to act as Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. When issued, the Grand Army of the Republic's entire command shall fall onto the Vice Chair of the Senate until a new Supreme Chancellor is elected, or an alternative authority is created. If this order were oh. to be issued during the Clone Wars, then Palpatine would lose all of his power to command the Clone Army, and that power would instead be given to Masameda until the Senate elected someone else to fill that role. Unless Next he becomes the new Order Chancellor. Five, which is very similar to the last one, where it is to be issued if the Supreme Chancellor is declared unfit to give out military orders. When issued, the Chief of Defense Staff shall assume control of the clone army and form a strategic council of senior officers until a successor is appointed or an alternative authority is identified. Next, we come to Order 37, which is probably the most vicious one here. This order calls for the capture of a single wanted individual through the mass arrest and threatened execution of a civilian population. If the wanted individual is not turned over to the authorities by the population he or she is being protected by, then the arrested civilians were to be executed as a consequence. The order then called for a disposal of the civilians' bodies without them ever being traced back to their families, as well as having all communications for the local system suppressed for the month while authorities tried to pretty much Dude, cover it up is so the ruthless. Act. There is only one recorded case of this order being issued, and it was during the Galactic Empire's first years. It was issued when the rebellious city Usa on the planet Belasa protected a surviving Jedi named Ferris Olin. The Imperials rounded up local civilians of the city and demanded that the city's resistance group hand over the Jedi or that they would execute the captured civilians. Suspecting that the Imperials wouldn't honor their promise of letting the civilians go, Obi-Wan convinced Ferris Olin not to turn himself over and to flee instead, which resulted in the civilians' executions shortly after. Damn, Obi-Wan did that? this was apparently only supposed to be used as a last resort and only on civilians that were a part of the city or planet that was resisting. Next is Order 65, which is to be issued if the majority of the Senate or the Security Council of the Senate declares the Supreme Chancellor to be unfit to lead the Republic and its army. Once this order is issued, the clones are to arrest the Chancellor and if necessary kill him. Once he is either arrested or killed, an acting Chancellor was to assume command of the army until the Senate appointed a new leader to take control. The next hmm. order is unknown by its number, but we do know that it exists as it is indirectly That's a mentioned cool commando. by Clone Commando Atten, 
Apparently this order calls for the complete destruction of a key Republic world if it were to switch sides during the war and align with the Separatists. We assume this is done as a means to reduce the damage if a vital world were to switch sides and aid the Separatists by preventing them from gaining all the resources and infrastructure of the planet. Either that, or the Order is more of a scare tactic used by the Republic to strongly discourage worlds from betraying it. Then we have the assumed Order 151. A few months after the creation of the Galactic Empire, Darth Vader Whoa. suspected that Emperor Palpatine may have implemented a new order to the clones as a means to have them kill him if he were to betray his master. Trying to get an answer to his suspicions, Vader asked a clone trooper this very question. Oh, but the yeah, clone this. didn't give a very direct answer, saying that even if there were such an order, he would not have the authority to reveal it to him. Seeing the hesitation in the clone there were and his inability to answer the question was enough for Vader to confirm his away. suspicions. Not wanting the Emperor to be reported of this interaction between him and the clone, Vader killed the clone commander by force choking him and throwing him off a cliff. And finally we have Order 66, which Most many of you infamous. already know. But essentially, if the Jedi officers were acting against the interests of the Republic, then the Supreme Chancellor has the authority to issue this order directly to the clones and have them eliminate the Jedi generals on sight. Once all of this is done, the entire command of the clone army will revert directly to the Chancellor until a new military command structure is created by the Senate. So those are all the orders that we know about. What do you guys think the other 100 plus orders are? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. So that was really interesting because um, I thought every single order was going to, uh, going to be uh, in Chancellor Palpatine's favor, but the first two orders that were mentioned basically can eliminate his power completely. So um, that kind of surprised me a bit. What also took me off uh, guard was the fact that there was an order that didn't have a number, but only that clone commando can uh, give or can uh, listen to. But um, either way, uh, I do know about order 151 because there was a video that I watched a a while back that talked about like why Darth Vader hated clones and this that was part of it so if you guys haven't seen that video make sure to go check it out but either way this is a really great video by the lore master so shout out and credits go, goes out to the lore master uh as I said earlier for providing great content because right now he's been my source for like Star Wars Legends videos but anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video because I really did make sure to hit that uh, notification bell so you know when I drop another video and thank you so much for your support guys I really do appreciate it and until then I'll see you guys next time